guys, AG has been 515, and this is part two, um, hopefully the last part, of few, of Braid Mania, and we're going to go ahead and get started. So here is your Laney doll, or right here is my Laney doll, and you can use any doll for this. It's okay if you have a doll with curly hair, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so let me set my phone up. Okay, so here's your hair. I'm going to take this out really, really quick. I'm sorry I'm going, like, so fast, but last time I tried to do this, I couldn't fit it all, so I'm just going to try to go really, really fast. Okay, brush her hair out. And it's okay if she has curly hair, like I said. Okay. That's a good way to get braids out, by the way. Okay, and a good thing about having a doll with curly hair while you do this is you can... The way you can know to like pick up your doll's little strand of hair, pick up just a little curl or something like that. Make sure you brush out your doll's hair really good. And if you have a doll with textured hair, if I were you, I wouldn't brush it. I'd use a pick because her hair falls out. Like I did that on Addy. Okay. And whenever you're doing this, pull it back. Okay. So pull it. After this, I'm going to go eat a carrot, because I like carrots. And with my toes. Don't worry, my toes are very clean. I scrub them every time I do their hair, because I know I'm just going to have to hold something with my toes. I know that's really weird and kind of gross, but it's okay. As long as it's sanitary. Okay. So braid a small little section all the way to the end of that piece of hair. And then, take a hair tie type thing, my jiggy. And, ooh! Tie it off. Sorry, I watched Glee last night, and I had one of their songs and stuck in my head. <laughs> and yes, I am a Glee. And if you all don't know what that means, I like to watch a show called Glee. Okay. So don't pull, like, all the way back as you're braiding, because then it'll just come back. But, yeah. So, brush out your doll's hair. Again, if you want to. Then part their hair. If you have fingernails, that works, but I don't really like to ruin my fingernails. Well, I won't ruin your fingernails, but I don't like to get my nails all like that. So, and plus, mine aren't that long. They just don't grow. That happens in my family. Except for my mom. She has long fingernails. So, tie off one of these with an elastic thing. I don't care what you call it. Okay. Oh, sorry, I just had a really bad pain. Okay. Okay. So braid that side, make it really, really tight. Super duper tight. And braid down, down, down. Otherwise, this will turn out kind of weird. Okay? So, do that. And then, make sure you braid all the way to the end. Ugh! I need, I need to, like, redo her limbs later because she will not... Ugh, I'm so angry. Oh, but she makes me ruin her hair every time. Okay. So, her, I'm going to have to redo her hair real quick. the toe pinching. I'm not even pulling her hair that hard. I am pulling it just as much as I did hers. Addie's. In fact, I think... Okay. 
Okay, so, right, and then tie off your elastic, Hello? and then, oh, um, we heard a weird noise, thought it came from the room, sorry, um, Okay. Sorry. Apparently there was a weird noise in my family. Okay. Braid the other side. Okay. Really? Okay, but anyway, braid her hair and then tie it off with an elastic because this video is just getting too long. So you all get the idea. Let me check how much time this is taking. Okay. Now we're going to do her hair. It's not going to take as long. I promise. I'm going to redo her hair later. Just remember, two braids and then a skinny braid. Okay? It's just frustrating. Take... This is a better way to get their braids out. Just do this. They'll take it out, braids, like little thing by thing. It's better. Okay, I'm going to attempt at doing her hair like this. I don't think I've ever used like a brush like an American girl brush on her. I'm kind of scared about this. I'm scared that her hair is going to fall out because she doesn't have a wig. She's got like root, root hair, like a Barbie or something. Okay. So take a little section of hair. Not too, too big. You don't want it like big, big stuff. Okay. And braid. Oh, her hair's soft. Sorry, it's like baby soft, like a baby blanket. This is hard. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm gonna braid it from back here. Alright, so take your strand of hair and braid it. And braid like towards the way that it's gonna wrap around her head. She's not very cooperative either, but that's because she's not an American girl doll. She is a French boutique doll. And their legs are creepy. I'll show you them in here in just a second. Okay. Go all the way to the end. I'm talking like to where you can't even make one more braid. But also not to where it's going to like fall out every time you try to touch it. Okay, I had a little clippy here. Here it is. That's what it's like. <laughs> okay. If your doll has bangs, try not to cover her bangs or anything like that. Okay. And wrap it around the top of her head. And if you've got, if your doll has bangs, then like right at the back of her bangs. Like I'm talking right there. My doll has bangs, and this looks really cute on her. This is like my favorite braid. And just clip it. Like pull all the hair back behind her ear and clip it. All you gotta do. You can even bobby pin it if you want, but I like a clip. Okay, so there, you've got a little braid crown, I guess I'll call that. Princess braid, I don't know. Braid crown. Okay, so there's all of these hairstyles. I will show them to you, except remember, Lainey, she has a braid right there, okay? 
so here they all are.